Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another video on the TaskCraft server. It is episode 9, and today we're going to be doing some fun stuff. So if you guys do not know, well, I, I feel like you should know by now that Halloween is coming up. Uh, and the server is going to be doing a Halloween special event. Um, so we're going to be setting that up, just like signups and whatnot. The event will be next episode, so look forward to that. Uh, but yeah, I think it's best to just get right on into it. So I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, um, yeah, I have nothing on me. Uh, that's because I died in the nether, but it's not, it's not that big of a deal because I'm covered. I have insurance, apparently. I didn't pay for this insurance company. It was just awesome dude being like, you have insurance, and me being like, okay, thank you. Um, so if we turn around, this is literally what I get. I paid zero. I just died. That's all that happened. And I get diamond armor with full enchantments on it. I get all my tools back. I get this elytra. I get everything that I was missing. Literally, I'm so... I can't believe. And they also gave me, like, nine stacks of cooked pork chops. The thing is, though, I don't eat pig. And I don't kill pigs. That is... That is not how I roll. Um, but, yeah, we... I, I'm probably gonna try to return most of these diamond blocks and also the beacon. Uh, and then I also got a ton of sugar cane. Uh, but I... To repay, repay awesome dude, what I'm doing is I'm actually going to make him a ravenger launcher going from his base all the way to spawn. His own little separate one instead of mine. Um, I think that is just a nice little thing to return the favor. It will take some time, but it's not that large of a tunnel. And I've done it before, I know what I'm doing now. So we're going to get started on that a little bit later today. But awesome dude, if you're watching, you're an awesome dude. Thank you. So, fun fact, I actually took all of those valuables, including the 12 diamond blocks that I got from random, from, sorry, not from random, from awesome dude, um, and I died with all of it. How did I die, you may ask? Um, well, I got a good friend, Jack Baguette, on this server, um, who I still love, still a great friend, um, but he needed help, I went to help him, uh, the help was dangerous, I died. I lost all my stuff, including a light dry just gotten for him, just saying. Um, and yeah, literally all my insurance was immediately gone, but I got insurance again, which I feel so bad about doing because I never, I never even paid for insurance ever. Um, the insurance was a little bit less. It was unenchanted diamond gear and diamond tools, which is still phenomenal. And I was able to get it all, all good and Enchanted we have some some amazing enchantments because um, awesome dude also gave me some free coupons to his uh, Basically no, I believe it is actually every single enchanted bookstore uh, And then also uh, random dude helped me out a little bit and gave me just some basic basic tools such as the stabby stabby version 2 sword um, It had a few enchantments on it, but I made it much 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 better and if we go into our ender chest I also got basically a lot of stuff to sort it out. So we got valuables, which is diamonds, uh, iron, uh, this is armor slash tools, this is actually part of the insurance, uh, stuff that I got. He gave me, awesome dude gave me, like, all this stuff, and then I added a few things from end busting. Um, I'm actually gonna go end busting now. I just got that literally 30 minutes ago, and then I was like, oh wait, I need a crafting table <laughs> and, uh, more inventory space. So I just put some food build your stuff, ender, uh, end slash nether stuff, rockets, uh, and then this is just a random sugar box, uh, armor slash tools and valuables all into, uh, some sugar boxes and into my ender chest. So now we're just repairing our elytra, and also we're gonna rename our tools a little bit, and then we should be good to go back to, uh, end busting. Now I do have to do that ravager launcher for awesome dude, and I'm kind of started on that somewhat. I was gonna make it underneath the lava, but he lives in a lava pit, which is a little bit hard um, because I have to basically make a tunnel through the lava so that there's no lava any at, at there anymore, which is tricky, so I'm not doing that. Instead, I think we're gonna try and make it above ground somehow. Um, so that's the plan right now. I still have to talk to him a little bit more about that. Also, while I was uh, doing some raids to try to get a Ravager, uh, I also got Tome of Undying, which I think will probably come in handy considering my track record the past, like, three days. Uh, so we're gonna be keeping that on hands for quite some time. So after doing quite a bit of enchanting, I finally got myself all suited up. We got basically back to where we were, or actually even a little bit better. Uh, and I also helped out my buddy Jack. He's new to the server. He's a friend in real life. You can speak, you know. 
Jack? Hello? There you are. Uh, anyways, you might be wondering what this bridge is. Uh, so yes. I, th I already mentioned it uh, earlier in the video that we actually have to make a Ravager launcher for Awesome Dude because he helped me out with insurance. Um, so what this bridge is doing basically is this is going to act as uh, the way to spawn. So the Ravager should be about here. It'll probably be a little bit high though. Uh, a little bit higher up that way uh, the person has some room to fall. Uh, and then this just goes all the way to spawn. Hi Jack. <laughs> and then you finally get over here to a staircase. Uh, I'll actually add stairs to it at some point, but as of right now, it's a little bit annoying, a little bit tedious. Until eventually you get right over here, uh, which is right below spawn if you guys recognize that pattern. And then from there, you can just climb up these minecarts. I know it's, it's old fashioned, it doesn't look amazing, but it still works. And here we are. This is fun. So now we just need to get a Ravager, and to do that, I need to go over here. And I've actually been working on this for a while. So this, this is where I've been trying to get Ravengers. Oh. The problem is there's been a glitch where they won't go through portals. I don't know why. They'll go through other portals, but they won't go through this one. Um, so I'll have to figure out a way around that. But yeah, now we just need to get a Ravenger and then we just need to we just need to put it where it needs to be and set the little contraption up and then we're good to go. Uh, so not much left to do, it should not take me that long, probably probably like about an hour. Uh, so I'm excited to do it. But anyways, uh, you'll probably be seeing a lot more videos with me and Jack, um, because he's a cool dude. Um, go check him out, he, he streams sometimes. We got the Ravager in the minecart! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! So now we just need to bring him down the stairs and then ship him off to where he needs to be. I got a Ravager, right? I got him, I finally got him. I tra transported him halfway to, or even more than halfway, I was like on the final stretch to all the way to uh, Awesome Dude's base, and then he attacked me, and my thorns killed him. He died because of thorns. I never whacked him once. The whole time he's been attacking me, he's been taking damage from thorns, and I was like, oh, this guy's so buff, like beefy. He'll be fine. He'll be just fine. And then he wasn't fine. So now we're back. And I have to go and get Bad Omen again, and I'm really sad. Can someone explain what is going on here? He's not on the rail. I don't. I don't know how this happened, but it apparently did. Oh. Oh. He's back. He's back. Okay. We're good. We're good. But before we continue on with that, three. Wait. Two, wait. I should explain to the viewers. I didn't record any of that. We're doing what? a boat race. <laughs> ah. All right, should we just start? I mean, I, pre I think it's pretty obvious from now. It's pretty, yeah, oh, yeah, no, it's totally obvious. It's oh, yeah. Just, we're gonna die. Oh, yeah, this is blue ice, by the way. All right, let's do this. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, oh gosh, I can't oh, do, God. oh, gosh, I'm already turned around. But I'm doing great compared to everyone else. <laughs> Okay. Oh dear, this is very speedy. Oh, I this, failed the speedy part. It turns a lot. Like it turns a ton. Like. Oh. Oh wait, I'm I'm pro. Why Absolute this... pro. So we're doing Why three I... laps, right? Guys. <laughs> oh gosh. Why did I make this blue ice? Uh, because yeah. you're Zix. That's what you do. I Are we allowed to hit people with our sword? Oh, am I gonna lap Jack? Yeah. I lap Jack. No, you haven't. Well, now you have. Get, get Jack, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna wreck my time. Get out of here. Get out of no. here. <laughs> I missed. No, no, no. I'm going the wrong way. Guys, <laughs> somebody help me. Oh, oh, Jack. Oh, you're a lost cause. Oh, you're gonna lose. And no. GG. Wait. GG, everyone. GG. Dang it. I was so close. <laughs> I'm stuck in a boat. I am also stuck. I'm. Literally. Here, I'll break it. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, 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 okay, the boat is literally not underneath me. What the heck's going on? <laughs> so, so is it like five diamond blocks for the winner, right? That's that's what we agreed on, Zix? There was, there was no prize for this. It's oh, oh I mean, yeah, like... no, 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 no. I remember specifically you saying that you, the winner gets five diamond blocks from you specifically. Jack does not have to pay because Jack's broke. I don't know about specifically. I mean, I'm more of a Atlantic kind of guy. Give me my um, diamond. Oh, shoot, you have thorns. <laughs> Yes, I do. Let's go. Let's go. I will beat you down by you smacking me in the face. 
I mean, I like I literally built a giant fighting arena. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. All right. So set your spawn. Set your spawn. How low is your armor? Uh, let me check. Stop trying to kill me. It's really low, actually. <laughs> All right, you give up. Forfeit. Six. Get in the arena. How low were you? How low were you? I mean, I only had two hearts of damage. I forfeit. Okay. That's what I thought. I was like, full right. What are you smacking him with? You said you forfeit left the arena! <laughs> You're supposed to get your opponents- Okay, no, I- I die, I die, I die. <laughs> I wanna see Tian- I wanna see Tian was slain by Zips in the chat. Hit me Please. one more time. Just hit me with a bow. I- I don't have a bow on me. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Just kidding! Your mending book. God. Alright, no, I actually die. I, I'm actually out though. I, I just wanted to use my totem. I'm actually gonna die. <laughs> no, I, I, I will definitely die if I continue like this. <laughs> Back to the Ravenger. I think it's been four days, maybe five. This one, this one, the Ravenger really tripped me up. It was, it was hard. We should be good. I, I know that we'll be good. I've tested this out already. Um, hopefully. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'll be really, really upset. I have to make sure that this guy does not hit me though because I do have thorns on my uh, armor. And here we are, basically right under spawn. It finally works, and I'm so happy. So we're finally done with that. Uh, we have repaid Awesome Dude, because he got us insurance, as mentioned so many times. Um, and we're good, and I'm really happy. So actually a little bit of an update too. The um, competition that we're supposed to be holding in Taz Town has officially been canceled. Uh, it was a disappointment for sure, but people just don't really have the time. People are going back to school. Um, the server has been a, quite a bit less active. It was a team project, which made things so much harder. Um, so it's officially been cancelled. It was the build battle, the team build battle. Um, and I would be lying if I said I was not happy. Low key. I was happy with my team. I was happy with our build design. Um, but also, I really, really want to start working on my base. I'm super excited to start work on it on that um, and I think that's what we're gonna be doing for the rest of this episode so I think we want to actually start on our koi pond now we don't have it totally flattened out yet um, we're getting there but I think it doesn't matter because the koi pond's in the middle anyways so that's the plan now I didn't record it because I knew it would be boring um, and it took actually like two days to do this because I hate circles but basically what I've been working on is a big big half a sphere in the ground for a pond so this is where the pond's gonna go there's gonna be koi fish in here it might be a little bit too large or too deep um but what we might have is like a hidden little place underneath here that could be interesting we'll figure it out but i thought that i should just show you guys um yeah kind of the somewhat the process because really i, I don't show you guys much at all because i find it quite boring but I like to just get a lot of stuff done in videos, you know? Probably too much for my own good. Um, that's why I post like once every two weeks. But I'm working every day. <laughs> and there we go. Now it's all filled in with sandstone. But anyways, we got it. We got it. We're good. We're good here. All right. So now we just need to fill this thing with water. Before we can do that, we need we need to make koi fish. And I don't know how to do that. So I'm going uh, I'm to leave it here for today <laughs> and hope that I learn to make a koi fish tomorrow. So we are back. Where did I go? Well, it looks like I went nowhere, but in reality, it's about a month later. I haven't been in the server uh, for ages because I've been working really hard on the build battle video that was released not that long ago. Um, hopefully. I don't know. Uh, it was released like yesterday for me. It might be released like a month from <laughs> a month before this video is posted. I don't know. Um, anyways. We're back on the Taskcraft server, and I don't know where I left off. This could be a huge jump. I don't know. Uh, but currently, the date is the 23rd of October, and Halloween is just around the corner. So, because I'm not allowed outside for Halloween because of COVID-19, um, I'm making a little Halloween event, which I think will be a very, very fun. So, I'm, right now, I'm in the process of making a pumpkin. Um, it's not going to be a great pumpkin. 
I'm not good at building, but I I just wanted to do something. Uh, so this game is called Secret Hunter, or maybe something else. The name's not really flushed out yet. I'll figure it out soon enough. Um, and it's basically a spinoff of Secret Santa, where there is you guess person that you have to you have to instead of give a gift, you have to kill them, which is close enough to getting a gift, you know. Um, so the, how this game goes is basically each person is going to get a random person to hunt down. Um, if they're able to hunt that person down in a week, then they get they get 32 diamonds from that person. Um, while the other person, they have their own person to hunt, and they also have to worry about being hunted. So it's kind of just like a loop, you know? If a person doesn't actually hunt down the person that they're given to hunt down, then they will lose 32 diamonds. Um, which means, you know, so if I kill the person I'm hunting, and I also don't get killed, that means I gain 30, sorry, 64 diamonds, which is a lot of diamonds. Um, but it also means I can lose 64 diamonds, so it's kind of, kind of a gambling game. Um, I'm probably gonna lose money, but I'm okay with that. I'm really, really excited for this. So, a few things about this game, though. The first attack is going to be basically the most crucial one because at first you don't know who's coming after you you don't know who who's assigned to hunt you down um so until you make your first attack they don't it's, it's, a, it's a surprise you know they they might not be expecting it but after that they the, the game's up they know who you are and they will know to keep an eye out for you now traps are allowed people may lose items i don't know um hopefully not but it, it is a possibility, and that is going to be noted um, in the little rule book that I'm going to put up here. Uh, but it should be a really, really fun game. I'm super excited about it. Uh, and it should be starting up pretty soon, so look forward to that. Uh, I'm going to finish up this pumpkin, though. Well, after way more hours than I would have liked to spend on this thing, um, <laughs> the pumpkin's done. It is, it is all complete. I had to hire... Um, Zix to do the eyes because they were causing me such trouble. Uh, but it looks pretty good now, I'd say. It's good enough for sure. This is only temporary, like literally about two weeks is gonna be here, and I spent way more, many, too many hours. Way too many hours. Uh, but yeah, so we got, we got a little setup here. We got this book, which I'm not gonna show you guys the whole thing right now because Ojin is currently reading it and that would be rude. Um, but yeah, it just has all the rules and whatnot. Um, and we have, we have basically a sign up little place right here. So yeah, I think we're done with this project for now, but in a week on Halloween day, the event will start and it should be, it should be pleasant chaos. It should be, it should be a good time. So after some negotiating with, um, o Gabriel and Pro Timothy, I have officially made a deal where I'm going to sell them. Uh, I believe 15 shulker boxes of sand because if you guys don't know I have so much sand just piled up from planning this whole area um, and they they want a lot of sand so I think I made a deal with 180 diamonds yeah 180 diamonds 20 uh, blocks of diamonds for 15 shulkers of sand and they gotta keep the shulker boxes um, I think this is a good deal it's 12 diamonds per shulker box um, and I think, I think we'll have a good amount of diamonds once we're done with this. I don't remember exactly how many we, how many we have, I think like two stacks. Um, so yeah, this is, this should be good. <laughs> and there we go. I have 20 blocks of diamonds now, um, and they have 15 shulkers of sand. That was a big transaction. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I think that's where I'm going to round up this video because I need to get prepared for the big battle. Um, and I still have to edit this before October or else everyone's just going to be looking at me like, what What are you doing with your life? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. If you're really watching this, I, I thank you so much. Like, you're incredible. Thank you. Uh, subscribe if you want to or don't. I'm okay with that. Uh, hit the like button once again if you want to. If you don't like this video, hit the dislike button. Give me honest feedback. I don't care. But yeah, still, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, and really fast before I go, just want to mention Sticky Piston. Uh, yeah. Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. 
Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because, like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. 